Hi and welcome to a new video. Resetting your iPhone could be the ultimate solution when faced with software issues. However, it involves wiping out all data from your device and restoring it to its default settings. In this video, I will show you step by step on how to reset your iPhone to factory defaults without losing any of your data. Let's go! To prevent any data loss, remember to create a backup before resetting your device. There are two alternatives for creating a backup of your data. You may either perform it directly from your iPhone to your iCloud account or do it via iTunes on your computer. First, let's try the iCloud backup procedure. To start, open Settings, tap on your Apple ID, and then go to iCloud. Next, choose iCloud Backup from the menu. If this configuration is already activated, the next thing to check is whether the latest backup date is recent. My last successful backup was performed on the 28th of February. So in my case, I will click on Backup Now for an updated version. Keep in mind that the backup process duration may vary depending on the size of your data. To guarantee a successful backup process, ensure that you have a stable Wi-Fi connection. Charge your iPhone as well to prevent it from battery drain. Also, having enough iCloud storage is important to save your backup. If you're running low on storage, you can upgrade to iCloud Plus and select from various storage plans available at different prices. You can check out our tutorial on how to free up or buy more space in the tag above or the link in the description box below. Note that an iPhone backup only includes information saved on your device such as its settings, app data, or home screen setup. It does not include data that is already stored in iCloud such as contacts, calendars, voice memos, and iCloud photos. Normally, these data are already synced in the cloud based on your settings. Having iCloud backup enabled guarantees that you can restore all your data later on. The data is securely stored in either iCloud or iCloud backup. The second backup alternative can be done using your computer. If you have a Mac, you can simply use the Finder to backup your iPhone. For Windows users, use iTunes, but before that, make sure you're running the latest version. To check for updates, open the Microsoft Store. Search for iTunes and click the Update button if it's available. Once updated, launch iTunes on your computer. Every time you connect your iPhone to your computer, you need to trust the device first. This is a security measure to ensure that only trusted computers can access your device. So connect your iPhone using an original or an MFI certified cable to ensure a stable connection between your devices. If you don't have a cable yet, click on the tag in the top right corner to purchase one. I will also provide a link below. To check if your iPhone is connected successfully, make sure that your device shows that it is charging. Then tap Trust when prompted and provide your device passcode to start the connection. Once your iPhone is connected successfully, click the Phone icon from the iTunes toolbar. Then click Summary from the sidebar menu and choose This Computer under the Backup section. Finally, click the Backup Now button to confirm backing up your data to your computer. And don't forget to provide your device passcode from your iPhone to confirm the request. Once your backup is ready, the next step is to turn off Find My on your iPhone before starting the reset. Open Settings, tap on your Apple ID, go to Find My and tap Find My iPhone. Then toggle off Find My iPhone. Provide your Apple ID passcode and press Turn Off in the upper right corner to confirm your changes. There are three possible ways on how you can reset your iPhone. You can perform this task directly on your iPhone or use certain applications on your computer. For starters, let's try it directly on your iPhone. From your Settings, go to General and scroll down to Transfer or Reset iPhone. Choose Erase All Content and Settings and press Continue. By default, your iPhone will automatically initiate an iCloud backup. If you already have one, tap Skip Backup. Then press Erase iPhone to finally confirm the reset. 
Similar to the backup process, you can also reset your iPhone using your computer. Again, you can use either Finder if you're on Mac or iTunes if you're on Windows. In my case, I will launch iTunes. Next, connect your iPhone to your computer. Once your device is connected successfully, click the phone icon and then hit restore iPhone. Initially, you will be given an option to directly back up your device. You can skip this step as you've already created a backup earlier. Finally, click restore and update and follow the on-screen instructions to finish the reset. In case you have trouble restoring your iPhone from iTunes, you can use another software as an alternative. For this, I recommend Tenorshare Reboot. This software is specifically designed to repair iOS issues on your device. Aside from that, it's also capable of restoring your iPhone without losing any of your data. However, note that some of its features require a premium subscription. If you want to try it out, you can click on the tag or the link below. This software is both available for Mac and Windows. After installation, launch Reboot and then connect your iPhone to your computer. To confirm that the connection has been established successfully, ensure that your iPhone shows the charging status. Next, click the Reset Device button located below the Reboot dashboard. Choose Factory Reset and then download the required firmware package. Once the download is finished, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the reset. No matter which method you use to reset your iPhone, it will reload a few times before restarting. Once the Quick Start window appears on your iPhone, click Set Up Manually. Don't forget to join a network connection so that you can restore your iPhone later on via the internet. Next, confirm or skip some pre-configuration options such as your Face ID and device passcode, until you reach the Apps and Data page. Here you can choose either Restore from iCloud Backup or Restore from Mac or PC, depending on which backup procedure you've done earlier. If you choose the latter, keep your iPhone connected to your computer to access the locally stored backup data. In my case, I'll select Restore from iCloud Backup. Then, simply provide your Apple ID and password to proceed. After signing in, select your latest backup from the choices and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Upon completing these steps, your iPhone will now be restored without losing any of your data. All previously installed third-party applications should automatically be restored as well. As you noticed, the home screen and apps organization also remains the same as if the device was never reset. In addition to that, your iPhone should also have been updated to the latest iOS version. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!